Prigozhin announced the loss of Wagner in Bakhmut. Girkin mocked him. Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin admitted that the Russian army is suffering huge losses in Ukraine, much more than in Afghanistan. As Prigozhin said in an interview with Russian propagandists in Bakhmut, mercenary prisoners and regular Wagnerites were liquidated equally. In order to prevent this information from causing an explosion in Russian society, the leader of Wagner immediately lied that the losses of the armed forces of Ukraine were allegedly several times higher. Much fewer people died in Afghanistan than we have now in Bakhmut. At the same time, I had 30 to 35,000 on the front. During the operation, I chose 50,000 prisoners, of which about 20% died, that is 10,000. They died in the same way as those who came to us under the contract. Approximately another 20% are those who are wounded, Prigozhin said. However, Prigozhin's statistics were smashed by his opponent Igor Strelkov-Girkin. He believes that the Wagner leader is lying about his losses. OK, let's say only 20,000 killed. I think more. Multiply by two. Another 20,000 crippled or seriously wounded who cannot return to duty. And we get 40,000 irretrievable losses of Wagner, at least. During the assault on Ismail, Suvorov lost exactly 10 times less killed and wounded and took the fortress in one day. Now, tell me about the military art of Wagner's commanders. Girkin wrote, ironically, 